This is a Blackstone griddle. This is a big old box of accessories. Question is, when you've got one, do you really truly need the other? To be honest, I probably went a little crazy when we first got our Blackstone and bought far more accessories than I really need. But that's not the point of this video. What I'm going to try and delve into is what are the top 10 that you really should have to make your Blackstone experience that much better. And if you stay till the end, I've got a couple of bonus ones that you might be interested in. Okay, so number one on the list is beveled edge scrapers. Great for flipping burgers or pretty much anything that you have on the grill, but most importantly, that beveled edge lets you get underneath those smash burgers so you can get uh, those released off the grill and then flipped over just right. Number two, long spatulas. These can be used in conjunction with the beveled edge scraper and primarily needed when you're moving a fair quantity of food around. Really important for doing things like stir fries. So if you're moving a lot of veggies or a lot of rice, it makes life so much easier. Coming in at number three, we have the burger press. Obviously essential for doing those uh, smash burgers. But you can use this as a weight to uh, keep anything that you want on the grill kind of flattened out. Bacon being a uh, prime example for those people that like nice flat pieces of bacon. Next up we have some long handled tongs. These are really useful for moving things around on the grill and still keeping your hands away from the hot surface. At number five, we have the bolt scoop, or you could call it a food shovel. If you're moving lots of uh, food off of the grill and into a bowl or onto a plate, especially things like noodles or fried rice, absolutely invaluable. Number six, holding bowls. If you have maybe some burger toppings that uh, you've pre-cooked and want to keep warm, or some sauce, these are your best friend. Number seven is squirt bottles. Whether you use them for different types of oil or water, always need to have a few of these around. At number eight, we have a cleaning scraper. And this is something that you want to have a nice stiff blade on so you can get some good pressure on it and a beveled edge ideally. This is a tool that you use just for cleaning the grill, scraping off the uh, residue from your cooking. You wouldn't use it for actually cooking in itself. Ideally you want one with a long handle so you can keep your hands away from the uh, hot surface. Mine has a short handle but uh, then I like to live dangerously. At number nine we have a melting dome. I guess this is traditionally used for melting cheese on top of burgers, but you can also use it for things like steamed vegetables. One of my favourite uses is to get the tops of fried eggs cooked nicely without having to flip them over. And a little squirt of water underneath the dome really helps out when you're doing that. So that brings us to number 10 on the top 10 list, and that's an infrared thermometer. This thing's great just to keep an eye on the different uh, temperature zones on your grill until you really get to know where the hot spots are. Okay, so I promised you a few bonus items, and here they are. Bonus item number one, warming rack. Who doesn't love to keep their buns warm when they're making burgers? Once you've got this, you can keep them up there and they'll stay toasty. Bonus item number two, wind guards. If you find you're suffering from the wind while you're grilling, these will take care of that. 
Bonus item number three, an instant read thermometer. Go ahead and give your meat a probe and see how hot it really is. And now, a super bonus, just for you. Ever had one of those days where your shrimp just seemed to disappear down the grease trap at the back of your griddle, no matter how hard you tried to save them? What you need is the goalie. This little metal miracle signals the end of long lost shrimp. There we go. My top 10, not necessarily gonna be your top 10, but this is the stuff that I use. If there's something that's not listed here that you think is an essential, please drop it in the comments just to let everybody know. And completely unrelated to the topic of this video, maybe you could leave something in the comments to say how the new microphone is working. Hopefully it's better than the mic that was just on the camera. We'll see.